Greetings and welcome everybody to a scorching hot afternoon. It is about 45.2 degrees Celsius here in New Delhi according to my thermometer and that is about 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's pretty hot. So in this video, we are going to test out the cooling performance of this 4-year-old LG dual inverter air conditioner and we will see how long it takes for this AC to cool the room down to 24 degrees Celsius on a hot 45 degrees Celsius day. And you guys can say the outdoor unit is here, half of it is exposed to direct sunlight and the part which is exposed to the sun is almost at 60 degrees Celsius so it does get nice and toasty out here and the AC is not even turned on right now. So that's why I do recommend installing these in shade because the outdoor unit also houses the digital inverter board. So you can imagine how hot it gets inside the unit where the printed circuit board lives. And just so you guys know, this one does have an aluminum condenser. Back in 2016, LG was selling these with aluminum condensers. But if you happen to pick up an LG dual inverter AC now in 2020, you will get a copper condenser. And speaking of new models, a few of you guys wanted me to do a follow-up review video of this AC. So this is the new one that we got installed in 2019. I link in the original video in the video description and this particular model has 4-way swing and new fancy stuff like Wi-Fi. Anyways, this particular AC is working perfectly fine. It is maintaining 25 degrees Celsius. I've set the temperature to 24 and I shot this clip at around 9 p.m. So the outdoor temperature wasn't really that high, but it was somewhere around 36, 37 degrees Celsius. So for those who were asking, this AC is working perfectly fine. And the discharge air temperature is at about 4.5 degrees Celsius. Oh, and by the way, guys, on my other videos, some people were saying that their new LG dual inverter ACs really struggle bringing the temperature down to 26 degrees Celsius. To be honest, I have a feeling that this is not a defect but an energy saving feature. But LG has kind of gone overboard trying to save energy on their newer models, that it kind of affects the cooling performance. So, I'm guessing what happens is that the compressor slows down early even before the room temperature drops to what you have set on the AC. So the thing is that will give you a lot more power savings but at the cost of fast cooling. Fortunately though this does not happen on any of my ACs. For example this is a 2019 model. It will run at maximum power until the room temperature drops to what I have set on the AC. And you can see that happening from this clip. I've set the temperature on the AC to 16 and right now it is pulling about 1.7 kilowatts from the wall and that is when the room temperature is at about 25 degrees Celsius. So that means the AC is running at maximum power because the set temperature is lower than the room temperature and that is how it should be if there are no power saving features on the AC. So my take on this is that this is not a defect. This is a power saving feature but LG is kind of going a little bit more aggressive with the power savings features. Okay so coming back to the topic, one downside of a micro channel coil is that it does accumulate a lot of dust and dirt fairly quickly even though it looks clean on the outside. All of it gets lodged inside the coil. So you will have to clean these quite frequently. I clean mine twice a year with plain water. And you guys can see how much dirt is coming off the coil and that is about three months of dirt accumulation so i did wash the coil about five days earlier of doing this test so today is 26th of may i washed the coils on 21st may so the coils are nice and clean when i'm doing this test anyways it's too hot outside for me to stand i'm gonna get a heat stroke here let's go inside and turn the unit on all right so i'm now back inside my room and it feels so much nicer inside here even though the temperature is about 33 degrees celsius anyways let me tell you a few facts about my room number one this room is about 159 square feet in size and number two i live on the top floor so that ceiling and the wall gets direct sunlight and let's check the ceiling temperature so the ceiling temperature is about 35.6 degrees celsius so yeah the ceiling does get fairly warm as the day progresses the ceiling gets warmer and warmer and at night the ceiling temperature is usually about 38 39 degrees celsius so here is the indoor unit and i'll zoom in on the data sheet over there so that you guys can see the model and tonnage. So this is 18,000 BTUs, that's one and a half ton. The model number is BSA 18 MAYD and this one uses R410 refrigerant. Anyways, moving on, we've got two windows. One window is there and another, another window is over there. And then we've got three doors. That door leads to the balcony and then 
this door leads to the living room and that door leads to the bathroom so a total of three doors and two windows now coming to the heat load inside my room i've got a desktop pc running got two led tubes running i will be turning on this one so a total of three led tubes running then i've got an lcd tv running this is an old lcd tv this one does not have led backlighting so this one has cold cathode fluor lighting so it does get fairly warm again got a desktop pc running and a ups running now to measure the temperature i've got a thermometer sitting over here on my desk this is near my computer so this will be showing a degree or two warmer temperature than usual so that's why i've got another thermometer which is sitting over here so this is this one also has a clock so we can use the clock as a stopwatch and i will probably set you guys down over here so that you can watch the ac operate also i've got a third camera over here that is measuring the that is recording the thermometer which is back over there We've gotta fix the curtain so that thermometer shows the outdoor temperature let me go ahead and fix that and we will start the video all right so fix the curtain and this thermometer is still alive the sensor is outside somewhere over there by the way this is measuring the shared temperature not the direct sun temperature but yeah you guys can see it is scorching 45.1 degrees celsius today anyways let's go ahead and begin this test all right so i've got all the cameras rolling the video has been synchronized so i've also got that camera rolling and hopefully that thing won't shut off on overheat Anyways, let's go ahead and turn the AC on. It's now 2 o'clock. So I usually keep my AC at 26 degrees Celsius. Uh, for this video, I'm going to drop it down to 16. And uh, let's turn on jet mode for the first half hour. Oops. Now it's on. So now jet mode is running. Let's set the airflow. Alright, so it is turning on. Our video recording is also going on. Room temperature is 34.3 over there. Over here it is a degree less, so 33.8. I told you guys this area is a little bit less warm compared to over there because all the equipment is running. Alright, so I'm gonna set you guys down over here so that you guys can see the uh, thermometer. So when the temperature comes down to 26, I might stop this video or let us cool the room down to 24 degrees Celsius and then we will stop. So here we are guys, in about 12 minutes, the temperature has dropped from 34 to 28.9 degrees Celsius. And this is how I am recording this and let's check the other one so the other one is at 29.1 degrees Celsius so like I said that location is slightly warmer compared to over here so yeah we will let this continue on So here we are guys after 22 minutes or 23 minutes we are down to 25.9 degrees celsius and if we take a look over here we are now down, down to 26.4 degrees celsius So it has been exactly 30 minutes since we turned the AC on and now the temperature over here is 24.9 degrees Celsius. So yeah, it's nice and cold inside the room and let's check the temperature over here, zoom in. So that is around 25.4 degrees Celsius and right now the set temperature is at 18, I'm gonna bring it down and set this at 16 so that the compressor does not slow down. So we will run the AC until the temperature is at 24 degrees Celsius on that thermometer. So yeah, let's keep rolling.
so check this out guys we are now down to temperature on this thermometer at least it's now showing 24 degrees celsius and that took 42 minutes and let's check the other one should be a little bit higher so that is at 24.2 degrees celsius 0.2 degrees celsius higher than what that one is showing so yeah pretty pretty even temperature drop throughout the room and the ac is still running at 16 degrees celsius blowing out ice cold air and i've also got another thermometer sitting over here near my bed so this is showing 24.7 so i just brought this thing inside like 10 minutes ago so i think it is still settling down but yeah i'm quite happy because the cooling is even throughout the room all right so in about 46 minutes we are now down to 23.9 degrees celsius and that actually feels cold because outside temperature is really really high so yeah this air conditioner does not have any issues running even in a 45 degrees celsius day this thing will cool your room no matter what anyways let's check the temperature over here i'm gonna stop this first save the video so that is showing 23.4 degrees celsius a little bit colder than this that might be due to the fact because i turned on the turned the lcd tv off so that thing does generate quite a bit of heat so guys i was just editing my video and i realized i forgot to show you the air temperature and the power consumption of this ac so i've got my meter plugged in uh, by the way the outside temperature right now is 44.8 degrees celsius and just so you guys know today is 27th of may i did the cooling test yesterday so that was 26th i think 27th is the last day for the heat wave anyways moving on the room temperature right now is 26.5 degrees celsius i've set the ac to 26 degrees and the power consumption right now is 950 watts so slightly less than one kilowatt on a 45 degrees celsius day so that is pretty darn efficient and what i'm gonna do next is set the temperature to 16 and then we will see how much power this ac consumes because on 16 degrees celsius this ac will consume more power all right guys so the ac is running at 16 degrees celsius the outdoor temperature is 45.8 degrees celsius and the ac is consuming 1862 watts so that is about 900 watts more than what it was consuming on 26 degrees celsius so this is exactly why you don't run your ac at 16 degrees celsius it's gonna tank your electricity bill especially on a hot day okay so now we are going to test out the temperature of the air that's coming out of the ac the outside temperature is 45.8 degrees celsius and the ac is still, still set to 16 degrees celsius so i'm gonna come close and okay so even on a 45 degree celsius day the temperature of the air that's coming out of the ac vent is about two degrees celsius so yeah this thing blows ice cold air no matter how hot it is outside the fan speed is set to medium by the way if you're wondering now just to be 100 percent sure that this thermometer is giving proper readings i've also kept another thermometer up there in the vent let me just go and take that out and we will see the temperature right over here so this one is showing 2.4 degrees celsius so yeah that non-contact thermometer is perfectly fine and if i warm this up this number should rise and a lot of people think that if you keep your ac at 16 degrees celsius it will blow out 16 degrees celsius air so this little test proves that it's not true it blows a lot colder than 16 degrees celsius not sure why it is showing 82 percent humidity though and you can see the temperature on the thermometer is rising because i'm holding it in my hands that non-contact thermometer is perfectly fine and this ac blows ice cold air now when you set the temperature to 26 degrees celsius the air temperature slightly goes up so now it is blowing about let's see so about 9 degrees celsius air that is coming out of the ac vent so before we wrap up this video i want to show you one little thing so it is now july so that means it is monsoon season check out the temperature it is 24.8 degrees celsius inside the room humidity is at 40 percent outside humidity is about 76 ish and the outside temperature right now is 32.8 degrees celsius and we are consuming only 550 watts to keep the room cool and i'd say that is super duper efficient set the temperature to 24 so the thing is if we run this ac for one hour it will only consume about 1.1 units of electricity 
so yeah to keep the room cool and to stay comfortable i think that is quite nice so yeah the thing is if you keep the ac at a reasonable temperature it will last a long time it will give you comfort while consuming less electricity so yeah the thing is during monsoon season when the outside temperature isn't that high and the ceiling is cool this ac only uses about 0.5 kilowatt hours to keep the room cool at 24 degrees celsius so yeah i think that pretty much wraps it up for this video if you have any questions as always leave them in the comment section down below and i'll try and answer you guys so thank you guys for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on acs and i will see you guys next time